Alrighty then, this is the unboxing of the SEMA X5C1 upgraded version. Basically, you have drone, and um, what you're going to do, you're going to put these guards on that just prevents the drone from if you crash into something. If you're a beginner, this is an excellent drone for a beginner. If you crash into something, this will prevent you from tearing up your propellers. So it comes out of the box without them. It comes with USB adapter for your charger for the batteries and a micro SD card adapter so you can upload your videos and pictures. And it also comes with guards. Like I said, that's what's being installed and an extra set of blades. You also have your comes with a micro SD or scratch that a micro Phillips head screwdriver for you to plug your screw the guards in. And they basically come out as easy as they can put in. They basically bam. Now they're off. They hook in right there. Bam. And it's secured in secured. Also, while I do like these guards, a lot of people fly without them, I like to fly with them, but these bad boys, man, if you're headed toward a tree or anything, they're going to get hooked in there. But this in particular, this hook at the end is an insurance policy that guarantees if you get near any tree shrub you're not getting this bad boy back so I just clipped them off to where they look more like that now let me turn this bad boy around more like that so that you know that's some help with the guards is take your battery which is this it's seated in there this slides out your battery is seated in there pull that bad boy out like that, out the plug pull the battery out charge your battery basically plug it up plug it in and seat it in there like that and this will start glowing and you plug that into your anything with a USB I wanted to show you all how to extend the range on this bad boy it's got a range of 30 meters and your wire that is really just a wire they call it an antenna is that Hold on here. I'll record it. this is all you get for an antenna so it doesn't even come out so what I've done this is basically off another helicopter that died a long time ago. 
or a wireless router antenna will do the trick. We basically have soldered, stripped some of the wire off of their antenna, soldered this wire onto here, and gluing this on in place, and then um, I'm going to have this on that and that's going to be the antenna basically you unscrew all the screws and I'm doing the easy lazy way because I'm not taking the board out I'm just I'm basically splitting the remote in half getting to the area that I care about and extend the range hi people I'm named Jaden Middleton <laughs> <laughs> He's helping me out. He's my uh, assistant in the lab. What we did, we put the remote back together and show them where the screws are. You got right there and right there. Right there. That's to put the batteries in and right there. Basically, you'll see everywhere that you're supposed to put screws. You put screws in and then I put the cap on the antenna finished product. There you go. Also you got excellent uh, lighting. Red is forward, green is backwards, and day or night that helps you keep track of which direction you are going. But you can't fly this bad boy at night. <laughs> Under the sun, under the sun, under the sun.